we have the current stock market update for IonQ Incorporated, stock ticker IONQ. Before we begin with today's chart analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the daily time frame. Each candle represents a full day trading period. And this does give us a bit more of a longer term viewpoint because this stock has obviously seen a lot of ups and downs in less than one year. So you know, if we just go back to roughly October, uh, the beginning of October 2024, uh, we can see that the stock was really trading you know, well below $10 per share at that point. The real breakout started to occur maybe mid-October. And then we saw a major price movement here very quickly, roughly five and a half X in just a couple of months. By the by the beginning of January, really, uh, we were already seeing share prices trading near $55. So, you know, what exactly would be happening with a situation like that? Is, is a move like that ever really justified? Well, one answer to that question can be seen in the fact that we did see a very sharp and substantial sell-off after that occurred. This really unfolded in two different waves, as we can see here. And ultimately, this resulted in share price movements right around $17. Since then, the buying activity has definitely started to return. But you know, the, we have to ask ourselves some questions here. Was there, any, was there really any fundamental news that caused something like this? Was there a, an impressive earnings release that the market was not expecting? The answer to both of those questions would definitely be no. This is still a company that not only do they not earn any money, there are no earnings, but their revenues are very small. Unfortunately, this is expected to remain the case for quite a while. There really are not very many commercial applications for quantum technology. And ultimately, this will probably mean that many of these quantum stocks that the market is currently watching, it's, this will probably mean that many of these companies are actually bankrupt or even non-existent by the time quantum technology does actually have commercial application. Of course, that's not going to be enough to stop the stock from trading. We're definitely still seeing a lot of ups and downs in IonQ. And what this means ultimately is that the chart analysis is really your best friend at this point. The next major resistance level that we can see here comes in just below $49. And we can see that this is an area that has been tested on several occasions. At the very least, you could refer to this as a triple top resistance zone because it has been, been tested on, on three separate occasions. And the selling pressure that has resulted in this area has really given us a bit of a sideways trading range at these upper levels. What this means is that at least for the time being, we can expect selling pressure to start to emerge right around 49 and then possible buying activity to start to emerge just above 37. After yesterday's close, we can see that the stock is actually closer to the bottom end of this trading range. And we are also starting to come quite close to the 100 day exponential moving average. This would be this blue line here. Anybody that is looking to trade a stock like this from a very short term perspective, that would probably be the most uh, the wise, the smart outlook here. Possibly buy something near $37, $38 per share if you can get something close to that. But I think you would also need to keep stop losses relatively tight because we're also looking at a bit of a triple bottom here to the downside. So triple top and triple bottom sideways trading range. And if we do see the stock fall below $37 per share, there's not a very there's not a whole lot of support that can be found below. One thing that we can point to here could be the 200 period exponential moving average. Since this is the daily chart, that would mean that this is the 200 day exponential moving average. That would be this pink line here. And currently that comes in just above $32 per share. 